And for those who don't know you, we're going to talk a little bit here. Um, you are, we're friends. That's number one. You have one of my dog, one of my dogs that you are very happy with. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Absolutely. And, you, and you're getting a second dog. Yes. And so we're going to talk about a topic that is really not one that I really want to talk about. I'm going to try to keep my, my composure here and not get too angry about it. But um, I want people to know a little bit about your experience, not on that American Pitbull Terrier side, but in the professional side of working uh, dogs of the Rockwalder breed and all your accolades uh, nationally, internationally, you know, going around and, and doing these big competitions and being becoming the best uh, dog showman in, in the country, United States country, that is. That's correct. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Can the, the people, can they know a little bit about you? So they know you're not just a guy talking on the phone, but you actually have knowledge of the dogs, have knowledge of breeding dogs. You have respect for people around the world. Can you tell us a little bit about your credentials? Yes. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't like to toot my own horn, but... Uh, but we, ha we have to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been around the Rottweiler with dogs in general for about, say, 20 years. You know, growing up in the inner city, I told you before, my mom never let me have dogs growing up in the projects, you know, sharing a bedroom with five brothers. So there was no room for dogs. Well, when I got on my own, when I became an adult, I got whatever I wanted. And um, uh, when I was playing ball, I got hurt and uh, I got I got sent home. I was hurt. I had a bad hamstring. So I got depressed and I needed a dog. And my you needed, you needed that emotional enhancement, emotional support. Yes, yes. And uh my journey began. I uh I was fortunate enough for God he put some really good uh people in my path that took me under their wings and kind of showed me the ropes and um kept me straight and uh you know when I finish my trophy room, I'm probably going to do a live from it. And you're going to be like, you're going to be impressed. I mean, from I'm world probably, to world. And, uh, that's, that's incredible, my friend. Yeah. And I mean, you know, I mean, I've championed out my own dogs. I would handle dogs for people. Um, and we're talking man, about, profe we're talking about the highest professional level of the Rock Wilders. Am I correct? Yes. Yes. Uh, I actually had the pleasure of owning, training, titling, and loving the what was considered the number one Rottweiler in the country, which his name was Jupe from the Nienbergerland. He was a German import. And uh, we, I started showing interest in the uh, Schutzen, sport of Schutzen, which is a three-phase sport where you have tracking, obedience, and apprehension. And you're scored on a hundred point basis. Um, it, it's a tough sport. I mean, you, you're not going to succeed. And a um, lot of lot of hours, money spent on training, seminars, traveling the country. I've traveled abroad to compete. Um, and you know the dog. You know. I learned more from the dog than the dog learned from me. I mean, I learned a lot from the dog. And it was a very, very, very good thing to hear. My friend, as, as we, we talked today a little bit before we make this, this chat, and uh, I want to hear, and I want you to tell me your experience. I'm going to ask you some questions. You can either say yes, no, or you can give me a little bit of feedback in it. Okay. We're going we're gonna to talk about because we want to educate. You're an educator. I'm an educator. Uh, you worked before. It's coming back. There we go. The signal came back. And so you you train people in, in, in how to take care of their pets and how to do a good job and how to get the microchip and all the stuff from the dogs. So in your experience, in your experience of, I'm pretty sure you saw a lot of disgusting stuff uh, in dogs, dog abuse and stuff like that. Uh, the the background of the American people Terrier as a warrior dog back in the 1800s, 1900s, a lot of people today will not understand it. And they'll say, you know, I'm, I'm against that, you know, and that's, that's perfectly fine that society has changed and everything else. But I don't think that any time in society, any man of any quality will ever have two males having sex 
Okay. Do you do you think that there's any way that two males can actually just by themselves have sex for fun or something like that? Could that be possible? I mean, the the thought of it is absurd. I mean, I've I can't even imagine that. I mean, it's unheard of. It's totally disgusting. Yes. Unaccept I think it's un it's not acceptable on any era on any society. It's not acceptable in Japan. Not acceptable in China. I don't think it's acceptable in Russia or United States, Brazil, any any society. Yeah, on any do, level. Do you think do you think I'm correct on my sermon that they, they will deny, it's not acceptable anywhere? I mean, there's uh, no society. I, I'm with that. you. I'm with you a thousand percent. Let me tell you this: in the American people terrier breed, and in dogs in general, these parties in dogs in general, dogs don't have sex for fun or for love like humans do. They have sex only for reproduction. Yes. In nature, they only have sex for reproduction. That's something that we need to put very clear because we're going to talk some facts. We're going to talk some uh, educational stuff so we, the new kids that are coming into the dogs can understand there is no social thing as having two dogs, two males having sex for, for the fun of it and hanging around and let me get you, you get me, and stuff like that. So this is, we're talking about science. Am I correct? Yes, yes, sir. So we do know that puppies can, and even some grown dogs can hump another dog to show a little bit of, of uh, how do you call it, um, dominance. dominance yes. But it has nothing to do with sexual attraction, intercourse, and, 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 and things to be having fun or anything like that. Yes. Uh, I've I seen some males that very rarely, not all the time, but they, they might hurt their penis a little bit when they, they, they have sex with a female, but, but very little bit. Most of the time, they don't. Yeah. Uh, my experience tells me the breed, the American People Terrier breed, when they are in the time of having sex to make puppies for reproduction purposes, many females that are in season, which means their hormones and their ovulation is proper for them to have sex with the male or copulate with the male, the female, her mind says, don't want to have sex with nobody. And the female might be aggressive towards the male, yeah. not wanting to have sex. Am I correct? Yep, that's absolutely right. Does that happen in the rock brothers too sometimes? Yeah, it happens. You have females that are very alpha type bitches and you have to muzzle them. You sometimes even have to use a breeding stand. A breeding stand or they call it breeding, breeding aid. Yeah. You know, the low lights in, in the past, they called them uh, rape stand, rape stand, which is yeah, rape stand. Is, yeah. Yeah. They call it breeding aid to help you do the breedings. Mm -hmm. Now, now, when it comes to a male, I have had males that don't want to have sex at all, even with a female, what is called flagging, ready to go. The male, mm -hmm. of course, says, I don't want to do that. Am I correct? Yeah. Also, I have had males that we have gone to doctors in, 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 in Germany, doctors in Spain, uh, doctors in, in, how do you call it, United States, in, in several okay. states, and here in Brazil, in in Rio de Janeiro, <laughs> I remember in Sao Paulo, the doctors couldn't have the female that is in heat, and they couldn't not have, the, they couldn't get the male hard to be able to collect the semen, because even with the sand, with everything, the male don't want to have sex. You know, you yeah. don't want to. So, you know, I wouldn't see a dog, a puppy, another dog humping another male for dominance, and one day they're actually locking into each other. This, this to me is impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. I've never heard of it. <laughs> as, as we educate people, we're going to have to educate them a little bit about people tell me, say, listen, Chico, um, you know, what are the important things in, in the breed, in, in the dogs, and so on and so forth. And I always tell them, I say, the important keys are number one, culture, number two, genetics, and number three, inner quarter. Everybody wants the genetics. Everybody wants the pedigree. Everybody wants the dog. But the most important part is the, the culture. But that has the proper culture. Yes. And, and because I understand the culture is a problem, and I'm trying to preserve the real American people terrier at the highest level, which are the dogs that I breed away from breeders that destroyed the breed before. They created a bully. They created these mutts. They call pit bulls. They go biting people. I preserve my breeding program away from breeders. And you know this because we had this conversation when you called me trying to buy a dog. I said, are you a dog breeder? I don't sell you. Are you a dog fighter? I wouldn't say. You remember that conversation? Yes, and sir. At the beginning, it's not pretty because you have a guy that wants to buy a dog, has interest, and then you have this guy that's all a sandalfish and wants to make sure that you're not a bad human. You're a great mm -hmm. person. 
Yeah. I do that 1,000% all across the board, especially with the United States, which I want this to be perfect. It comes to the point where a moment it just happens to be that there is one of my dogs that has four, five little mates. And one of the owners of the five little mates is right here. He is online right here. I don't know if uh, Andres wants to come into the chat and type a little bit his name. He has one pet. He loves the dog. The dog is beautiful, loving. Um, she's just amazing. So I already have a guy told me, say, well, you hammered the swamp so much. I said, because you guys don't know how low life that culture in America is. Yeah. These are the leftovers of the, what used to be called the game, the leftovers of the low label dog fighters. These are millennials, mostly of, of them. And some of leftovers, they were nobody and today want to be somebody. They're, they're spraying the wrong culture. They only want to breed dogs, breed dogs, anything pedigree, pedigree is disgusting. Mm -hmm. And they all talk about what about this dog against that dog and blah, blah, blah. The dog is a victim here. This guy, we got some uh, screenshots of him as of late. He was happy with the dog, as I understood. We got some screenshots that, that he was hanging around what I call the swamp, the forums and stuff like that. And I said, listen, listen. We, you know, we're not going to be friends. It's, it's, you told me you're not going to do that. He said, oh, I make some mistakes and stuff like that. I get a call from a guy that tells me that that's his boyfriend. And uh, he's dropping him as a boyfriend because he was raping the dogs. This could have been somebody playing games. So I verified, call him. And he said, Look, hey, that's just a bad joke. Somebody jealous. Don't get you with me. I said, that's fine. I contacted him. Listen, man, you really like to be in the swamp. You need to go. I want to get the puppy. Give it to somebody else. You know, someone that will take care of him. Still a puppy. Okay, my friend. We're back. Listen. Let, let's go right, let's dive in right into the topic. So we both understand that two dogs cannot have sex and and um, two males cannot have sex. I, I can just imagine how painful it is for a male to to have another male and to have the, the, the nut, the ball, the sign, you know, must be very painful for him. So it's not something that he's looking for, look, looking towards to, am I correct? And when I got the news, he called me, he said, listen, look at your dog over here being humped and, 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 you know, having sex with another dog. And this can actually, I think, kill the dog, destroy his anal and everything else. So yeah. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Do you think that this can happen? What kind of a process someone with a deviant mind will go to have this happen? Can this, the guy is recording the dog having sex uh, or having been raped by the two the other dogs and he's in camera laughing and having fun and everything. I mean, not only the guy is totally disgusting, he should never own dogs. Tell me on one thing, what do you think about this kind of individual? Man, I'm almost at a loss of words. I mean, they're sick. It's sick. It's sick. I mean, it's, I've never heard of anything like it, but, you know, there's just crazy, stupid people in this world. And it sounds to me like, I don't know, maybe he's made a habit of this. I mean, because that just don't happen overnight. Like, well, let's put two dogs. I mean, that's, that's, exactly, that's exactly what I said. These two dogs cannot be running to each other and get stuck. And, yeah. and, 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 and the male humping the other one is not be able to do that. Two puppies playing. So. Is it's almost like we're training dogs. It's almost like a taught behavior. I would say I don't. I don't see how that would just happen randomly. I've never heard of it. I don't think. I don't think this is acceptable in any breed, in any country, in any culture. This is a despicable act. And then I, like I told you, something even worse. The the so-called swamp picked up this video, made made a, a sound bite of having fun while the dogs are being raped, because both of them are being raped. Not one or the other, both of them are being raped. The other one too supposed to be a puppy. He cannot be having fun with this. He, he, I could imagine this guy just drinking off these dogs and putting, you know, KY jelly on one and all this kind of stuff, you know? I mean, the guy is a disgusting human. If he, he's not even a human, this guy. No, he's, he's, a, he's a piece of shit. Pardon my French. He's a garbage. No, that's okay. I mean, it's, it's totally disgusting. Yeah. But, um, 
the the chat and forums where they put this kind of behavior and all the people that celebrate it and they are laughing and having fun. I mean, what does what does this say about that community of people who swam? What does that say about that? That, that just that just shows their low, I don't know, low level of I don't know empathy or just they got no damn common sense. I mean, it's just who does that? The, 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 the so-called dogmen of America today. The so-called dogmen. Yeah, and I'm pretty well, sure that there's going to be some people that are real dogmen in the past. They're going to say we were never part of this. Listen, I think about legends of the breed in the past. Carver, Crenshaw, um, Hollingsworth, great people, Floyd Booth, all these great people in the past. They'll never rate their dog. They'll never be happy about people raping the dogs. No. I mean, I mean, I mean, any, to me, anyone taking part in anything like this, I mean, there, there's something wrong. Something's not right. Disturbing. It's really disturbing. I tell you what, when I, when I first saw this, I, 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 I wanted to put my hand through the phone and strangle this son of a gun. And I thought for a moment, I said, this dog is better if he just be put to sleep, you know, because the pain that he's going through, the suffering he's got to get through, the mental, the mental disturbance of the dog is against his own nature. It's against what he was made for. Mm -hmm. You know, he says the dog needs to be aggressive towards other dogs. Man, there are some dogs, they'll never become aggressive. They just become puppies. They are friends. They, they yeah. tell you how you raise them. You raise them properly. You give them love. You know? and, and then you know what they did? They sent this link to some of my friends and some of my clients. And my friends and my clients that look at this thing, they contact me and they say, we want to report this guy to the authorities. We want to tell the authorities who is this guy. You understand? He does yeah. not deserve to own any dog ever in his life. That's what my, my friends told me. You understand? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Someone like that, I mean, they shouldn't even own a goldfish. This community, the swamp, I think this video will be the very best video to educate people when I tell them, you know, and I say, I don't sell, listen, I said it, I don't sell dogs to breeders, dog fighters, rapists. And when I tell this to my wife before she hurts me saying this to people on the phone, she says, why you go so far to say rapists? I said, they're nothing but criminals. They're nothing but criminals. They're not these old men in the past that wanted to make the dog, the, the breed better. I mean, first and foremost, I mean, education. I mean, I mean anything you go into, you want to research it. You want to, you know, find out the ins and outs of what this and that is. I mean, and because if you just, you got money and you just go buy whatever, what good is it if you don't know what you got on your hands? You know, so to me, education is the full, the first and most important thing they need to do. Study the breed, whether it's a poodle, an American pit bull, whatever it is, you know, find out, you know, about the breed and then go in it because, man, I mean, in the last 10 years on Facebook, I have seen what I call the overnight breeders. You know, you got a guy who, you know, has never been to a dog show, for example, he goes to one, next thing you know, six months later, he's imported three females pregnant from Serbia, and he's selling puppies at $3,000 a pop. And he calls himself a breeder. But then he's on, on forums, oh, why do I feed my puppies at three weeks? Like, you, you're supposed to know that kind of stuff. So to me, I bow my head to breeders that know what they're doing because breeding, breeding is not for everyone. It's a science, and you got to know what you're doing. Because if you don't, you're asking for trouble. You got to have ethics, my friend. You got to have ethics. You got to have morals. Yes. You got to have principles. And I tell you something. I am the person that I'm very strict. And who comes in? Like I said in the video, this puppy, all the roommates are perfectly fine. But this one psychopath. And one person that I didn't know is like someone that goes by a gun. And you don't know what. If he's a criminal, the background pass, or you don't know what he's going to do. And, 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 the, and the poor victim is the dog, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Unfortunately, man, it sucks. I tried to make his video 
the primary page to your thing and you're laughing, you, you mix the video of the music to it to celebrate the dog being victimized. Yeah, what does that say about that, that person itself? Yeah, to, me, to me, they're a piece of shit. Bottom line, I mean, I can't, I can't say it no nicer. I mean, anybody that would take that and run with it, it's, it's just sick, man. It's sick. I mean, it's just wrong, man. I'm big, I'm big, I'm big on animal, animal advocacy. I mean, and I love animals, whether it's dogs, cats, horses. And, you know, dogs, you know, they depend on humans to... I guess to thrive and live, and you know, and why, you know, why, why turn your back on them? It's just wrong. Yeah. Well, my friend, I really appreciate your time, man. I think your message will be heard by people, and I hope that the new generation understand what's the right thing to do. I think you, you must love your dog. You must take care of your dog. If you don't like the dog, put them in good hands. And if you yeah. like a better, a better dog, go buy it. And I tell you one thing: not all dogs are going to be perfect. They are creatures, they got their own way. The sad case with this particular dog is that he behaves himself like a puppy, like a great dog. How the one is the, the breeders of the swamp? They knew the dog was raped, but they have a license at the same time for breeding purposes because they say the dog is a great dog to breed because he had a great pedigree. It's unbelievable to me, you know, when you ruin a dog, because that dog is ruined. It's my yeah, the mind. dog's broken. He's psychic. I'm sorry? Yeah. The dog's broken. The dog is broken mentally. Yeah. His spirit is broken. The dog needs somebody to go pick him up. You know, so yeah, he's, yeah. Not, he's not good for breeding stock, but they yeah. want to be the dog because of the pedigree. It's broken. The dog is great that I, that I check the people. I guess I need to check a little bit harder. I guess even if I check as hard as I can, I want to be able to know somebody's heart. Sometimes you meet the person today and the person changes later. I, Listen, I can't believe people haven't reported that video. I have no idea. Around. You know, the, they, they send a link to my my friends. My friends already said they're going to report it. And my friends are going to report the bullheaded guy in, in Vegas and also this guy in Yonkers, New York. Now, I tell you one thing. If you do that to dogs, you can do anything to a human. Oh, yeah, I mean, what, what won't you do? You know, I mean, it's 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 sick. It's scary. They can't they can't let that guy be around children either. No, I would, I I would never let the guy be around children. Man, I would. I mean, if you're thinking of doing that to a dog, get rid of the dog. If you know someone. Who has the potential to do something? Like, report them. I don't know. Smack them. Don't don't let it happen. It's just it's unethical. It's 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 bad. It's just bad for I don't know on any level, on animal level, human level. It's just it's just wrong. And like you, I said, you are firm. You are firm that two dogs cannot run into each other and get locked in. Not no. by themselves. Especially males. Especially males, right? You know, you know the functionality of sex. The bull becomes big inside. You know, dogs they have this, uh, their, their shed is hard. You know, and the penis is soft when it's coming in. So you got it. You got to empty. You got to make sure the dog is empty. Mm -hmm. Got some special gel inside. Play with the dog, jerk him. Yeah. Practice a lot of practice to get to the point. Yeah, it, it's that's why I say I, I bow and I respect. Anyone who's a serious breeder, such as yourself, I mean, I know a handful of people around the world that are true, true preservers of breeds, and those are the ones that should be breeding. I mean, you know, the guys that do the backyard breedings, why? Why? To make a couple of bucks? To me, it's just not, it's not enough, you know? Especially, you know, if you got dogs that aren't, if you're trying to breed those that aren't don't have any merits, I mean, to me, when you breed, you're doing it to improve the breed. It should be about that. It shouldn't be about the masses. Oh well, you know, I'm going to produce a thousand puppies, you know, and because that's how people think. People that don't don't care. They don't have no passion. They just they do it just to do it. I know guys. Absolutely. I know. 
I know guys who breathe dogs. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go buy a new truck after I get my third litter. Really? You know, it's it's disgusting, man. My friend, this is a topic that I hope we never have to talk about anymore because you and I always have amazing conversations. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be very happy with the special copy that I'm going to get you. I'm waiting for the videos that you say you're going to send me that special dog you have. I will, I'll be home one of a kind. You, you have one of a kind copy. I don't, me, myself, I don't even have one of that. You have one of <laughs> I'll be home in about 45 minutes. So now go. When I get home, I'll feed them and I'll, I'll call you and I'll let you see them. Okay, my friend. God bless okay, you. Thank you, you so much.